Yo, what's going on, hoes? It's your hoe, Roller Dog. So, this is a bit of a different type of guide. It's more of a external guide, if that makes sense, about your PC in general. So, currently in this PC, I have an i5 12400F, a 2060 12GB model, and 32GB of DDR5 RAM. And also, I am running the game off an M.2 SSD. That shouldn't affect frame rate too much. It might be the odd 20 FPS here or there. But if you run your game off an SSD, you'll have faster load times and faster frame rates. So first up is shadow settings. I always keep this on curse no matter what. I understand it makes the game look better the higher settings you go, but I'd rather just do this for pure performance reasons and it's easier to see tuckers on your ship. As you can see here, that's me with mythical. It's very hard to see, it's a very dim lit environment. And then I go down to Curse and look how easy it is to see me. It's just it's just for the pure competitive advantage. So for a 20% 20, 20 decrease in performance for a poorly lit ship and hard to see tuckers, you're at a disadvantage. It's a no brainer to keep shadow detail on Curse. Now for model detail, you should always have this on rare. As you can see objects like storage crates from the furthest distance, even on mythical, you can still see them from the same distance as rare, but they aren't as high quality. And for a 5% decrease on FPS on rare compared to the 20 on mythical, it's a no brainer to stick with the rare for model detail. So this one is crazy. If you put this on mythical, you lose a whole 33% FPS. So I was looking at the island on an average of 160 FPS and now I'm looking at the island on an average of 110 FPS and I just think that's stupid. It's not really that much of a big difference in actual gameplay and visuals, so I just think you should keep this on cursed. So the majority of streamers and YouTubers have their water detail on cursed or common. But I just think that's pointless as the game is 99.9% .9 water. You want to enjoy what you're looking at, so I put mine on rare. You can put it on common for a 15% decrease, but it looks nowhere near as beautiful as rare does. And anything above rare tanks your FPS like crazy, and it's just not worth it. So I keep mine on rare for a 25% decrease in FPS, but quality it's worth it in my opinion it really is so lighting detail i like to keep on cursed because if you put it on anything above cursed it can take 20 to 30 percent of your fps which i just think is ridiculous and it works hand in hand with shadow detail so if you have cursed shadows you might as well have cursed lighting as it's, it's easier to see everything if that makes sense so anything under lighting detail you don't really need to play with as it don't really have much effect on fps visuals or anything i haven't really noticed anything while playing with these on rare, legendary. Some of them only go up to rare, some of them only start at rare. It's a bit confusing. The only thing I would change if you are a big fan of the Pirate's Life Tall Tale is the animation quality. Just, you know, when Jack Sparrow's sliding down the slide, it'll look smoother and everything. But even then, it's not even a big difference. So uh, I don't really see the point in any of these options. I just think they're just useless and they don't really do anything in general. So I think these options are best off leaving how they are when you're loading. Whether I think I think they're naturally on the uh, cursed anyway. So you're better off leaving anything under light lighting detail the way it is. Anyway, that's all from me, your boy Top Dog Roly or Roly Dog. I hope to see you again soon, and I really hope this guy did help someone boost FPS on a lower to mid range PC. Anyway, that's all from me, your boy Top Dog Roly or Roly Dog. I've said this twice now. Make sure to check out my Twitch and my second channel. Links for both are in the description below. Anyway, that's all from me. Peace out.